All right, welcome guys. Here is the Cyclone 4151. We're just gonna do an outside walk around tour. Got the golf cart plugged in so we can turn the lights on and all that fun jazz. So as you can see, this painted molded cap is beautiful shape. All the decals are in fantastic shape. Look under here, you got your beautiful 5500 generator. This is all your wiring for the whole unit. So this is your uh, hydraulic pump and this is where your hydraulic fluid gets filled to. You can see all your wires. We just put the basic battery so I can plug it in here for you. We got our hydraulic auto level. So this is awesome. You can actually pick the unit up off the ground. It's not like an electric system where you just stabilize it. This actually system actually picks the unit off, of, <coughs> off the ground, excuse me. You can see right here is your uh, power cord. All this here is your skirting that connects right here. It's all brand new, has not been used. You can see right here is your hot water bypass. Looking underneath, you can see the nice, beautiful aluminum frame. Everything is just pristine. We have our built-in vacuum here. On the other side, I'll show you once we get there, is our battery disconnect. Oh, lots and lots of storage. This is your exhaust for your generator. This is where your outdoor shower and everything would sit. So we got our little thing here, our shower, our hoses come up here, etc. This is where our pull tanks are. Just down this way, you can kind of see there. And you can see we have the triaxle, all brand new tires. We got the six point auto level. We got the fuel station back here as well. So we got the two separate tanks. One is for the generator, one is for your toys. It's nice to keep it separate. I know I like to keep my generator on 87, and my toys at 94 octane. But you can see this trailer is absolutely beautiful. Rear ladder, so we do have a nice big walkable roof. We've got our nice two inch hitch in the back with some wires on the back. So if you want to tow a little trailer on the back, you totally could. We got the rear view camera on the top. Beautiful, beautiful unit. So we got two awnings, one big power awning in the front, one in the rear, just over the door. And you can see how big these windows are throughout the whole unit. You can see not a single decal is uh, peeling or fading, nothing. It's absolutely fantastic. And then this is the other side of the pass through. It's so much storage. This is where your auto level is. So you second you in a hook, press your on auto level, walk away, drink the beer and just do what you wanna do. There's your battery disconnect for the unit. Right here you can have your satellite and your plug-in, so if you want to put a TV out here, you could. You can have, see your propane, you got one on each side as well. Another cool feature is the TV on the top outside, so you can enjoy the outside entertainment. So we'll hop on in. Nice beautiful steps. Hopping in, you can see this layout is actually just amazing. Looking right here, first thing you're gonna look at when the slides are in is your control panel. This is right here is your solar controller. So there, there is solar on the roof. Now here is your control panel. So you can have your slide outs, your awning, your lights. So we're gonna turn them all on. Ba -ba -ba -bum. This is your generator. Shows you your fuel of your generator. How many hours would be here. These are more lights here. And then your vent is up here as well. I'm just gonna do a quick pam around in here. We'll get back to the main living in here shortly. We have two AC units, one in the main living, one in the bedroom. Just as your queen walk around bed and there's so much room. I hate when there's a king bed and you can kind of gotta squeeze in and get through. You got a nice little shelf for books or phones. You got right here is another light switch right here. You can see how everything works turning everything on for you. Tons of storage right here. Nice little counter, big window. You can see if the kids or anybody is playing with the fire. It's all on the campsite. Another nice TV. Now this is my favorite part in this toy hauler, a full size tub. That is really, really neat to have and a nice big skylight on top of that. Tons of room, tons of thinking, uh, <laughs> it's your thinking seat I call it. So nice, nice room there. Just so much storage in this beautiful unit. In here, you got your table. So this, you'll see there's two holes where the couch is over here. That is for this table here. You got your built-in vacuum. It's probably never been used. You can have your washer and dryer prep right in the front. 
That's perfect and even more deep storage all along here. And of course there's always storage underneath the bed as well. I'm gonna come around this way. And go, now you can see your two holes for that table that was back in the, in the closet here. And that's where it goes right here. Going around this way, we've got a nice big beautiful TV with an electric fireplace. As you can see, just storage all on top here, on the bottom, it's beautiful. And then this is our built-in vacuum system. This hooks up to the hose. This right here, we just sweep, sweep it right to it and sucks it right out. It's actually just awesome. Little table extenders, so if you wanna have just a quick sandwich or anything. And then there's a little cup holder along with your main cup holder back here. Just more light switches, just really brightens up this whole unit. Double door fridge and freezer, nice little bar area, nice little spot for maybe a coffee maker, ice maker kind of thing. It would be fantastic, beautiful stove here. You can see just so much storage. And counter space is pretty okay for the size of the unit and the layout. Nice big deep sink. This looks like a Home Depot thing, so it's a little stronger than an RV tamp. It's just nice big deep cabinet so you can actually fit the whole pot or pans or dishes it's phenomenal convection microwave got even more light switches here and we're gonna hop into the garage area see where the light switches are light switches are up on the top here just turn them on perfect so right here in the garage you got your couch that turns into a bed so you have a full-size queen another queen up here as well and then Unlike most toy haulers where the loft is on the other side, you access the loft in the garage area. So you come up here and you access this nice big loft. Of course, even more storage up here. This is a nice little deep area for maybe a, a closet or boots, maybe some shelving, another TV in this unit, and you've got your half bath in here as well. Now, there is a screen door that pops down. It's not manual. It's an automatic... Um, Screen door, buck screen. You just press a button and it comes down nicely, which is really cool. It is right here. Let's see if I can get it going. You can see I'm not touching the unit, touching the button, and it's going down on its own, which is really cool. Nice fancy feature. I'm just gonna bring it back up here. And we got, of course, we got the radio for inside and outside speakers. This bed is all controlled by just this button here. You can just control everything by power and there's no manual labor and you can see how many windows are back here it's just phenomenal so much uh, brightness without turning on the lights there's so much storage it is really a beautiful unit and it's been mouse proofed already so it's really really awesome like this is just huge look at this fridge it goes right through and the nice big freezer that doesn't have the divider in the middle. You can actually fit nice big tall things in here. But yeah, any questions, please let me know. Uh, it won't last long. Uh, please, thank you.